Okay, in this video, I will demonstrate some simple Unix commands that you will find very useful as you use the Ubuntu for Windows or even for Mac users when you use your terminal because the commands are the same. These are Unix commands, but if you end up using a Linux system someday, this is the same command. I showed you a couple of easy commands earlier. So one of them was pwd, present working directory. So it just shows you where you are right now. ls, this list, shows you the content of the directory where you are. So let's, so I am in home Arun, that's my home folder. And there's a directory called test1, or a folder called test1 in that location. So to move or navigate, we use the command cd, change directory. So from here, since the only directory available or folder available to me is test1, I use cd, space, test1. And when I do pwd, present working directory, you see I have moved to home Arun test1. Typing simply cd without anything after it takes me to the home folder, no matter where you are. So if you want to make sure you're in the home folder, you can always type cd no matter where you are in the terminal and you end up in your home folder. One of the major tasks that you probably will be performing when you're working on a Windows, uh, Ubuntu on Windows uh, subsystem, the other way around. Anyway, when you're using the Ubuntu app, you might have all files that are downloaded to the to your downloads folder, your normal, regular downloads folder. Uh, and you might want to move some of those files to your Ubuntu uh, home folder. This is the Ubuntu home folder right now, yes. So how do you do that? There you need to understand the mapping between your Ubuntu home folder and this folder, and that is Let's see, CD. So I'm just going to navigate myself from the Ubuntu home folder to uh, the downloads folder on normal Windows. So the C drive is mounted on something called MNT. So you do CD slash MNT slash C and then users. And if you quickly press tab two times, you will get a list of every, every option that is available under this region. So slash mnt slash c slash users slash when you do double tap i see that i have my username my windows username that is kmats if you have a more complicated one or a very long one or one with spaces you can just type the most unique characters say for example i have uh, cli kli sorry so there are two of them there three of them so therefore i cannot uh, com it doesn't complete it for me so kli adm I click tab and it completes the most common one. I say A N N, and there you go. Tab again, it completes the username. But anyway, so my username is very simple, Ahmed. And then uh, if you do tab, tab again very quickly, you see all the other options now. So I can see my downloads folder there, D O W N. So there you go, downloads. So C D slash M N T slash C. So that takes you to the C drive. Users, commit, so that takes you to your home folder on your Windows drive and downloads. There you go, enter, I'm in downloads, ls. Now you might uh, see lists that, uh, list that uh, a list of files that you might be familiar with from your Windows downloads folder. You can just open that folder in the Windows Explorer and see if it matches, of course it will. But anyway, so now I know that there is a little file called bors.zip, I will try to move that from the Windows folder, my Ubuntu home. I press CD, so CD takes me to my Ubuntu home folder. And you see I'm here. So now CP is the copy command. So MNT, P uses my Windows username, downloads, and I said there was a name, boors.zip, and then dot slash. So I have said CP, that is copy. I have uh, mention which file, so that's bores.zip, and then space dot slash. Dot slash means here. I could also type slash home slash, so that's another way to do it, and then type enter. I think it's a big file, unfortunately, it could take some time, but this is how you'll copy from your home folder to your Ubuntu home folder. Mm -hmm.